ओम शांति उर्ली डेट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव टू बिकम कम्प्लीटली प्योर दे फोर डोंट कॉज एनी वन सॉरो डो नॉट परफॉर्म एनी सिंफुल एक्शंस विथ योर फिजिकल ऑर्गन्स Constantly continue to follow the father's orders. Question: What is the way to change from a stone to a philosopher's stone? Which illness becomes an obstacle in this? Answer: In order to change from a stone to a philosopher's stone, you need to have the full intoxication of becoming narayan and your body consciousness has to be broken it is this body consciousness that is the most severe illness until you become soul conscious you cannot become a philosopher's stone only those who become a philosopher's stone become the father's helpers only by your doing service will your intellect be made golden for this you need to pay full attention to studying om shanti the spiritual father cautions you spiritual children children consider yourselves to be confluence aged you cannot consider yourself to be golden aged only you brahmins consider yourself to be confluence aged all others would consider themselves to be iron aged this is a lot of difference between the golden age and the iron age between the residents of heaven and the residents of hell you are neither residents of heaven nor residents of hell you are residents of the most auspicious confluence age only you brahmins know this confluence age no one else knows it even though you know it you forget it now how can you explain to people they are trapped by the chains of a ravan the kingdom of a rama doesn't exist now they continue to burn effigies of a ravan which proves that this is the kingdom of a ravan you understand number wise what the kingdom of a rama is and what the kingdom of ravan is the father comes at the confluence age and so the golden age and hell are compared with each other now those who reside in the iron age are called the residents of hell and those who reside in the golden age are called the residents of heaven those who are residents of heaven are called pure and those who are residents of hell are called impure everything of yours is unique so you now know this most auspicious confluence sage you understand that you are brahmins the picture of the clans is very good you can explain using that picture you should show the contrast so that people are able to understand that they are impure poverty stricken residents of hell you should write this is now the old iron aged world heaven the golden age is a new world are you residents of hell or residents of heaven are you deities or devils none of them would say that they are residents of heaven 
something that they are sitting in heaven this is hell where is heaven the golden age this is the kingdom of ravan and this is why people burn an effigy of ravan those people have so many answers there is so much debate about god being omnipresent you children very clearly ask is this the new world or the old world you have to show such a clear contrast very good brains are needed for this you should write tactfully so that people ask themselves am i resident of heaven or of hell is this an old world or a new world is this the kingdom of ram rama or the kingdom of ravan are we residents of an old iron age world or of a new world you should write this in hindi and then translate into english and gujarati let people ask themselves where i am i res- i a resident of where am i a resident of when a person dies people say that he has gone to heaven but heaven doesn't exist now it is now the iron age so surely rebirth will also be here the golden age is called heaven so how could anyone go there now all of these things have to be churned the contrast should be shown very clearly right god speaks each one of you should ask yourself am i a resident of the golden age at kingdom of rama or a resident of the iron age at kingdom of ravan you brahmins are residents of the confluence age but no one knows you you are completely different from everyone else you know the golden and iron ages accurately only you can ask are you vicious corrupt beings or wiseless elevated beings you can write a book on this you had to write new things through which people can understand that god is not omnipresent when they see what you have written they will enter and ask you about it themselves everyone would call this the iron age no one could call this a golden age dt kingdom is this hell or heaven write such a first class article that people can understand that they truly are impure residents of the iron age and that they don't have any divine virtues there cannot be any golden age in the iron age churn the ocean of knowledge in this way and write these things any one who takes the initiatives is arjuna arjuna's name is mentioned in the gita baba says everything in the gita is like a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour there is so much difference between sugar and salt sugar is sweet and salt is salty by writing in the gita god shri krishna speaks they have made the gita salty poor ones don't know the secrets of this knowledge god only speaks this knowledge to you no one else knows it knowledge is very easy but some forget that god is teaching them they even forget the teacher otherwise students would never forget their teacher 
दे रिपीडिएटली से बाबा आई फर गेट यू बाबा सेज माया इज नो लेस यू हैव बिकम बॉडी कॉन्शियस एंड एंड आर कमिटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस देर इज एंड अ सिंगल डे वेन यू डोंट कमिट एनी सेंस द मेन सेन यू कमिट इज दैट यू फर गेट द फादर्स ऑर्डर्स द फादर ऑर्डर्स यू मन मना भव कंसिडर योर सेल्फ टू बी सोल्स यू डोंट ओबे दिस ऑर्डर एंड सो यू विल श्योरली परफॉर्म सिनफुल एक्ट्स देर आर मेनी सेंस कमिटेड द फॉर्दर्स ऑर्डर इज वेरी ईजी एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट नो मैटर हाउ मच यू बीट योर हेड्स यू स्टिल फर गेट बिकॉज देर हैज बीन बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस फॉर हाव दिस साइकिल सम आर अनेबल टू सेट इन एक्यूरेट रिमेम्बरेंस फॉर इवन फाइव मिनट्स इफ यू स्टेड इन रिमेम्बरेंस थ्रू आउट द होल डे यू वुड रीच योर कर्मातीत स्टेज द फादर हैज एक्सप्लेन दिस रिक्वायर्स एफर्ट You study worldly studies very well. You have so much practice of studying history and geography. However, you have no practice of the pilgrimage of remembrance at all. To consider yourself to be a soul and to remember the father is something new. The conscience says we should remember such a father very well you take little time to eat a piece of bread but that too is in remembrance of baba the more you stay in remembrance the purer you will become there are many children who have enough money for them to live on the interest simply continue to remember the father and eat a piece of bread that's all however maya doesn't allow you to stay in remembrance however such effort each of you made in the previous cycle you will make the same effort now this takes time it is not possible for someone to race ahead quickly and reach there here you have two fathers the unlimited father doesn't have a body of his own he enters this one and speaks to you therefore you should follow the father's shrimat the father gives you children this shrimat forget your bodies and all bodily religions and consider yourselves to be souls you came here and then while taking 84 births you the souls became impure you now have to follow shrimat in order to become pure only then will the father guarantee that your sins will be cut away and that you will become pure souls then you will receive a pure body there those who belong to this clan will listen to you and begin to think about these things they would say what you are saying is right if you want to become pure don't cause anyone sorrow become pure in your thoughts words and deeds storms will come to your mind you are claiming the unlimited sovereignty whether you tell the truth or not the father himself says many sinful thoughts of maya will come but you mustn't perform any sinful acts 
through the physical organs you mustn't commit any sin through the physical organs so you should write this contrasting things very clearly shri krishna takes the full 84 births whereas shiva doesn't take rebirth that one is a deity full of all virtues and this one is the father you have seen how they have made such big images of the pandavas this indicates that they had such big broad and unlimited intellects they had big intellects but those people then portrayed them with big bodies no one else can have such a broad and unlimited intellect as you you have godly intellects on the path of devotion they make such big pictures and waste their money they have made so many vedas scriptures and upanishads and incurred so much expense father says you have been wasting so much money the unlimited father is now complaining you feel that baba gave you a lot of wealth he taught you raj yoga and made you into kings of kings some study a worldly study and become a barrister etc and then earn a huge income this is why it is said knowledge is a source of income the god this godly study is also a source of income through which you receive the unlimited sovereignty knowledge full father sits here and explains to you children this is a completely new study and who is teaching you god he is teaching you to make you into the masters of the new world lakshmi and narayan claimed a high status through this study there is a vast difference between the king and the subjects if someone's fortune opens his boat can go across students can understand whether they are studying and whether they are then able to teach others or not you should pay full attention to the study because of having stone intellects they don't understand anything you have to become those with golden intellects only those who stay in service will be able to make them golden you can also explain knowledge to someone by using the badge claim the unlimited inheritance from the un- unlimited father bharat was heaven it is a matter of only yesterday there is so much difference between something being 5000 years and something being hundreds of thousands of years when you explain to them they don't understand anything because it is as though they have completely stone intellects this badge is like the geeta for you it includes the whole study people only remember the geeta of the path of devotion through the geeta that you hear from the father you receive salvation for 21 births you are the ones who started the study of the geeta in the beginning you are the ones who started worshiping you now have to make effort and liberate poor people from the chains of path of devotion continue to explain to someone or other and one or two will emerge from them if five or six people come together you should 
try to get them to fill in forms individually and explain to them individually otherwise if even one person among them is not that good he would spoil the others you must definitely get each one of them to fill a form separately they should not even be able to see one another forms then they would understand you need to have all these tactics because only then can you become successful the father is also the businessman those who are clever will go will do good business those who are clever will do good business the father brings so much profit if a group comes at the same time tell them to fill in the forms individually if they are all religious mindset get them to sit together and ask them have you studied the gita do you believe in the deities baba has said that you should only give this knowledge to the devotees my devotees and the devotees of the deities will quickly understand to change a stone into a philosopher's stone is not like going to your auntie's home body consciousness is the most severe the most dirty illness of all until your body consciousness is broken it is difficult to reform yourself for this you need to have the full intoxication of becoming narayan we came here bodiless and we now have to return bodiless what is there here the father has said remember me this requires effort destination is very high you can tell from their behavior which ones will become good helpers as they did in the previous cycle acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point remain pure in your thoughts words and deeds be cautious that you don't perform any sinful acts throughout through your physical organs in order to make yourself the soul pure you definitely have to stay in remembrance second point in order to be liberated from the severe illness of body consciousness maintain the intoxication of becoming narayan practice i came bodiless and i now have to return home bodiless sing may you be a soul who as well as has having yoga and conducting yoga also has the speciality of experimenting with yoga bab dada has seen that you children are clever both at having yoga and conducting yoga so just as you are clever at having yoga and conducting yoga in the same way become clever at experimenting with yoga and enable others to experiment there is now a need for a life of experimenting with yoga first of all check to what extent do i experiment with transforming my sanskars 
This is because elevated sanskars are the foundation of creating an elevated world. If the foundation is strong, then all the other things will automatically be strong. Slogan Experienced souls can never be influenced by any atmosphere or be colored by any company. Om Shanti With avyakt silence, experience the double light angelic stage. You will become one who is always swinging in the swing of happiness. One who removes everyone's obstacles and makes everyone's difficulties easy. When you have determination in your thoughts and your stage is double light. Nothing is mine. Everything belongs to the father. When you keep the burdens with you, all types of obstacles come. If nothing is mine, I am then free from obstacles. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you.